Jesse Welk believes he was attacked by an animal that is not yet proven to exist. An animal that Jesse calls Panteater. You just simply lay them over the trap like that. They, they'll think they have a nice mouthful of pants and actually they'll have a mouthful of trap. Well, as you can see, I have the caravan and uh, I wear protective underwear. I don't wear underwear, underwear. But these creatures are after your pants. And well, I've said it a million times. I get letters, drawings, you know, you can see them up there. I mean, some of them are very realistic. a week I re-establish my boundary. So the urine it marks my territory. Very important. By the way guys if you need to go it's here. It's been ten years. <laughs> it seems like yesterday. Well it was just like any other Tuesday. The first thing I thought was that um, I've been burgled. First thing it did was immobilize me. And I realized there was no one else in the house. So I just gave up fighting. I gave up. See, these creatures have become dependent on pesticides. And regular cotton pants contain, you guessed it, pesticides. My advice, if people are worried, is to wear fair trade, pesticide-free pants, and they won't come near you. I mean, the markings of a pant eater are incredibly subtle. Their trick is to leave the ground as, as if it has never been touched. So if something looks like it's not been touched at all, it probably means that a pant eater's been there. Someone once said, life is there to be enjoyed. And that's exactly the way I look at it. For me, all I can do is move on with my life and stay positive. If you've been affected by pant eaters or know someone who has, visit pantstopoverty.com forward slash pant eater.